Everyone who's ever worked in a call center or BPO industry will tell you that it is a challenging job and most of the time you have to deal with extremely tiring and demanding work schedules. Despite having hundreds of people every day working in a large building, you will still hear stories about strange, unexplainable occurrences that happen to some of them. Most of these stories happen in the restrooms, long empty hallways, and even in quiet stairwells. Now, this is a story about Tess. She'd just begun working as a trainee in one of the known BPO companies in Cebu City, Philippines. The building was located in Asia Town ID Park, or just IT Park as the locals call it. Before IT Park became known as the call center hub of Cebu, the land was used as an airport, although there are rumors that it was an abandoned cemetery before it was converted into an airport. As we all know, some girls like to go to the restroom in groups. Whenever Tess was on break, she'd ask one of her work friends to go to the restroom with her. Tess noticed that her friend seemed hesitant to use this particular restroom in their department. Tess liked that restroom because it was always empty during her break times. The restroom had three bathroom stalls. Now, usually, when you're in a busy office, it's no surprise that there are bathroom stalls that are always occupied. However, Tess noted that the first stall was always locked, but she just dismissed it, thinking that it was under maintenance or there was something wrong with the plumbing in that stall. One particular night, when Tess went on a break earlier than her work friends, she needed to use the restroom and decided to go alone. It just so happened that all three of the stalls in the restroom seemed to be occupied. She waited there for what seemed like five minutes and still no one came out of the stalls. The locked stalls seemed to be empty since there weren't any noises coming from the stalls at all. So she bent down just a little bit to double check if there were people using the stalls and confirmed that there were none. Thinking that the custodians had locked them, she left and went to a different restroom in another area of the building. A few hours later, she went on break again and this time she asked her friend to go with her to the restroom. She breathed a sigh of relief that the stalls were now unlocked and free to use. Except for the first stall, which was still closed and locked as usual. While she was inside the second stall, she was suddenly startled when someone slammed the stall door next to her. It was slammed with such force that it shook the stall dividers. Tess called out to her friend, assuming that it was a friend who accidentally slammed the door. The friend then said that she was still doing her business inside the third stall. Tess figured that the first stall was finally opened and that someone else was there using it. She finished her business before her friend could, so she was waiting and fixing her hair after she washed her hands. Her friend came out of the stall and told Tess that they should leave the restroom immediately. Tess was confused, but agreed, seeing how her friend had looked scared. As soon as they were out of the restroom, the friend told Tess that there was a faceless lady wearing all white standing in the corner of the restroom, and it looked like the lady was facing them. Tess then asked the friend if that was the reason why she always seemed to hate that particular restroom. The friend went on to say that the first stall was always kept locked by the building's custodians because the lady in white was always inside that first stall. When they heard the door slamming earlier, her friend was sure that the lady in white was responsible. She continued to state that she'd always hated using that restroom because she had seen a faceless kid seemingly watching them, but it was her first time seeing the lady in white. 
A few days later, Tess and her friend got to speak with the custodian in charge of that restroom, and they were told that there was once a lady who worked in the building and got an abortion in that very same bathroom stall. Now, it is unclear how someone would get an abortion inside a bathroom in a busy building, nor was it explained if the lady had died there. It's only said that the people in charge of maintenance would keep the first stall locked so as not to disturb the alleged spirits of the lady and her baby. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, working in a call center is exhausting enough. We certainly don't need the added stress of a paranormal or supernatural being making its presence known. After hearing about the lady, Tess would never use that restroom again, leaving the mystery of the lady in white for some other new trainee to discover.